Hello everyone. Today I will introduce to you the process of building the TWL C51 development environment. First of all, I will introduce the D1 company. D1 Technology is a high technique enterprise focusing on HMI solutions and gradually realize the leaps from intelligent screen application research and development to the whole industry chain technology. Let's turn to the D1 official website. You can find D1 products information from the official website. The documents used in this video can be downloaded in the D1 official form, and the form link has been placed in the document. This video used the EKT043 development board provided by D1. This development board uses the TYE chip and is equipped with a 4.3 inch capacitive touch screen with a screen resolution of 490 x 272. Next, I will introduce D1 TWL resources to everyone. TWL screen includes three kinds of chips TWL NIN, TWL E, TWL R chip. Different chip development methods are the same, but TWL R chip can drive higher resolution screen. Next, I will introduce you to a key point, that is, the TWL chip is a dual-core processor and one is the OS core, which is used to put the business logic code of users. This core is actually a mature and stable 51 single-chip microcomputer. The main frequency can be as high as 215 MHz. The other core is the GUI core, which runs a DGAS2 system. It is responsible for the construction and the rendering of the GUI graphic interference. Let's show you the schematic diagram of the TWL chip. We can see that there is a wire here that divides the chip into two parts. The OS core on the left can be operated by code. And the GUI core on the right cannot control by ourselves. Yes, it can be controlled through the D1 official system. Next, I will introduce the development method of D1 screen. Please see the picture below. From this picture, you can see that the development methods can be divided into TA instruction set development and DGAS development. The TA instruction development is based on the predefined instruction set. Development is similar to the way of several point screen development. DGAS development. DGAS is the abbreviation of D1 graphic utilized software. Under DGAS development, according to the code stored in the OS core, it can be divided into D1 OS development and C51 development. They are mutually exclusive and you can only choose one of them, assuming that you need D1 OS development before download the code to the OS core and then download the C51 code. The C51 code will wash out the OS core. Here is a brief introduction to OS core development. The OS core is divided into two layers, the virtual machine layer and the D1 OS layer. The kernel firmware of the virtual machine layer is officially provided by D1, and the code of the D1 OS layer is written by users. If you want to know more, you can go to the D1 official form to search it. Meaning to introduce the C51 development method. This is our traditional 51 single chip development method. It is written in C language, uses kill integrity development tool, and uses download for 8051 tools for code download. Of course, you can also use SD card to sequence C51 layers, download to the OS core. This method is gradually used in mass production which is more convenient. The 51 development method is the most efficient and customized among all development methods. So this video's tutorial teaches the C51 development method. C51 is simple to develop, has low hardware requirements and doesn't require an external microprocessor because the required hardware modules are packed in the TWL chip. 
To the point of today, the front is meaning to let everyone has a general understanding of the D1 screen. Today is to introduce how to build the environment and how to develop later. There are five steps to how to install the environment here. The first step, install Kio Integrated Development Tools, search online and then install. The second step is to install the Degas Tool software. You can download the latest version of the software directly through the given official phone. Because it is a green software, you can use it directly after downloading and decompression. The third step is to install the download for A051 download tool. After we have compiled the program, how to bring the program to the screen, you need to use this tool. Of course, you can also download via SD card. But if it is the process of development and debugging, it will be very slow to download through the SD card all the time. This tool can also be downloaded on the D1 official phone. Open the software, select the file to be downloaded, and then select the cell port to download. The download speed is very fast. The fourth step is to install the HDI driver. What is the HDI driver? One of its functions is to enable Kio to support t well chip development. And it can also be downloaded on the D1 official form. Only need to pay attention to that is choose its installation location to be the same as the installation location of the Kio C51 software by default. If you have installed the KFC51 software before, then the driver installation packed can automatically scan to the installation location. After the installation is completed, we also need to copy the two header files under the d one TWL master folder to the C51 in D1 folder under the KL C51 installation directory. The fifth step is to install the server port driver because our EKT-043 development board can be downloaded via the server port. So we need to install the driver. If your computer has been installed before, then this step can be ignored. You can follow the steps in the document to complete the installation. After all the software is installed, you can start creating project templates. In the future, all video demonstrate routines or actual project can be iterated based on this C51 project template. Before creating a project template with Kio, we need to build the directory structure of this project. We call this C51 project template. And then we create a folder named template on the desktop and then create user, obj, handler, GUI app, find handler, these five subfolders. Why do we need to create these folders? These folders are created for later project migration and maintenance. After creating these folders, we can start creating the project. The functions 
of the five subfolders you can review it by yourself. Here I will show you how to do it. Open the Kill Tool software. Click Project. Select New Project. Choose to save it under the User folder under the template folder just created. Also name it Template. For Chip Device selection here. Select D1 device and the two, like the picture showing in the document. Click OK. Here a pop-up window promotes whether to add the startup field to the project. We click No because we don't need the startup field added by Q. D1 has prepared the startup field written by D1. After the project is created, first we delete these two folders in users. Delete listings and objects folders. These two folders are used to store the temporary files by queue. As mentioned before, the temporary files and output files are placed in OBJ folder. Then we add some files to user. We can create a main.c field by ourselves. And the remaining files can be found in the folder we prepared for you. This template is just to teach you how to create it. Then I can provide you with a complete and useful C51 project engineering template. After the project is created, we need to configure it. Click the icon similar to the magic wand to configure the project. Click device. Select user enable linker instead of BL51. This will remove the warning. Fill in remove unused here. Here, follow my steps to configure target controls. Here it must be configured, otherwise it will not work properly. Output and listing select to save to OBJ because both are output files, so they are stored in OBJ. For the C51 configuration, the default selection is 8 here, but once the project is large, it is easy to make mistakes. Choose 3 here. Here, choose size to focus on size rather than the speed. Click OK. At this point, how to create the C51 project engineering template has been completed. Here, this is a template that has been optimized for everyone. You can use it directly in the following courses. That's end. Thank you for watching.